huge little. Tyson here with Garage Life RC and I am out here today with my sledge. Got some new M2C stuff on it and so I want to check out this chassis, get it out here for its first run. Uh, also put some new tires on it so I want to try these out a little bit and see how this thing handles. And I got a, finally a straight chassis. My steering, get that dialed in a little bit here. I don't know how long we're gonna last out here in the heat. It's about 102 degrees. huge little bump to start. My goodness. just totally flipped us on edge. There's these stupid big rocks out here. I gotta find a better place to bash, but I like this ramp. These tires are definitely definitely slingers. I mean, it's slinging frickin' rocks at my face all over the place, dust flying. things out here that throw you off or like that you pull a before you even hit the jump Sledge is flying nice today. Uh oh. 
we lost something. Let me go over and check this thing out. We lost, I think a battery might have went flying out. It did. I see a battery over there. That's no good. Kind of broke through the casing a little bit. Let's take this apart. Oh, look at that rock stuck in there. Look at this big old thing in here. Ow, motor's a little hot. I knew it was awfully hot out here. It's so hot out here. All right, so the actual Velcro came undone. Interesting. Well, I should probably go fix that. I should probably go fix that, redo my straps a little bit. I gotta let this thing... I might actually turn it on and just let the fan run. I need to get a fan on my motor, I think. Get a fan on the motor so it actually will uh, cool the motor down a little bit. But that's all right, we got some good sends in. Truck's still in one piece, it's just battery straps weren't working right. The Garage Life RC wing mount held up great again to some of those huge wing digs. My wing is a little messed up itself, but it's been breaking from all the times I hit it. I need to put a new wing on there. I mean, these tires seem to do well. They grip, what, they grip good, they're a little puffy. And what I mean by that is provides a little bit of sway uh, when you're going back and forth it, it, they just they have enough play in them to send the truck kind of side to side so loses a little bit of the stability other than that um, still got the max 8g2 in here uh, I got to tune that a little bit because I do have the timing turned up a little bit and I think that's providing some of the heat um, definitely shouldn't be getting this hot but I think I also need some I think I need to get some fans on the motor here, help cool it down, especially in these. I mean, this is a, like I said, 102 degrees or something like that. And I'm ripping it around in the dust and the dirt here. So I might just have to uh, put some fans on the motor. And also, gosh, this place is just so rocky. You get rocks up in the gears and it kind of destroys everything. But, you know, you bash where you can, you live with it how you can. So that's where we're at with it. We're living with it how we can. Need to fix that. Look how those are far out. You, you do what you can, uh, but I'll take this apart and adjust my Velcros around a little bit uh, to hold it in quite a bit better. So thanks for checking this video out. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with my build. I'm building the Ultimate Basher, uh, which is based on a Techno MT410 that's extended out. But I'm building that thing super tough. A lot of uh, M2C stuff on it. Pretty much everything you can get for the M2C stuff. Um, and we're going to come out and send this thing. Probably going to utilize that for the East Tactics Jump Challenge for August. Uh, and send it as high and far as I possibly can. So uh, we're going to be doing some cool stuff. Uh, thanks for coming along on the ride. And uh, we're going to go home and get this thing fixed up. Which thankfully isn't going to cost me anything. Just a little bit of a, a tuning, adjusting. And we'll be back out uh, to give the sledge some more action with these Power Hobby Raptors.